Welcome to our lecture online. Next, let's look at odd periodic functions. Now here we have a sine function, which is not, by the way, not considered a periodic function, but at least the sine function has the same properties. Whenever we plug in a negative t for every t value, that's equal to the negative of the function. So what does that mean? It means that there's a mirror image about the origin. If you, for example, pick a point like right here in the function, and you draw a line from here to the origin, and then you continue that line on the other side, notice it will come to a point where the mirror image exists about the origin. Here's three some very common periodic functions. Again, we can pick a point like right here and draw a line from there to the origin, and notice if we continue in the same direction, we'll eventually end up at the mirror image point on the other side. That's how you know you're dealing with an odd periodic function. You can try the same with the other two and you'll find out that that would be the case. What that means though is when they're odd periodic functions and you're trying to find the coefficients of the odd function, your job is all of a sudden a lot easier because it turns out if it's an odd periodic function, the a sub naughts are always equal to zero and so are the a sub n's. And the only thing, the only coefficients you're supposed to find then is only the b sub n's and in that case, you only have to integrate from zero to half the period instead of from zero to the full period, and it's therefore double, the amplitude is therefore double to four over t instead of two over t. But at least, now that you know that, you don't need to bother with trying to find those because they'll end up being zero as well, and you can save yourself a lot of time. So for the even periodic functions, you have to find the a sub naught and the a sub n. For the odd periodic functions, you only have to find the B sub n's. And so your job now will be a lot easier when you're trying the Fourier series of odd and even periodic functions.